Grandpa Bill, Grandpa Bill, story time with Grandpa Bill. It's Grandpa Bill's story time. Yay! Hi, I'm Grandpa Bill. Welcome to Grandpa Bill's story time. Come on in, make yourself comfortable, and we're going to sit down and read a good book. Okay, our book today is A Whale's Tale by Deborah Kovacs, illustrated by Grace Goldberg. Oh, what a nice little whale. Once there was a little gray whale who lived in the deep green sea. Day in and day out, she dove through the waves and blew water through her blowhole, just as a whale should. But one day the whale decided she was tired of swimming and diving. She was unhappy with her life and wanted a change. Hmm. I hate being a whale, the whale blubbered. I wish I could be anything but a whale. A sea turtle swimming by just then heard the whale's complaint. Oh yeah, he snapped. And what would you rather be? Hmm. Do you ever think about being something else? The whale said, I'd rather be a turtle. Like you. You can take your house with you wherever you go. I don't even have a house, she added with a sob. Are you kidding? said the turtle in his cranky voice. Did you ever try swimming around wearing one of these things? This shell is really heavy. The surprised whale said, poor turtle. <laughs> the whale sam swam along, watching the other creatures. They're all luckier than I am, she thought, feeling sorry for herself. Oh, crabs and fishes. Suddenly, the whale bumped right into an octopus. Oops, I'm so sorry, the whale said the whale. I guess I wasn't watching where I was going. Hey, no problem, said the happy-go-lucky octopus. Let me scratch your back. <laughs> Lots of arms. You're a great back scratcher, said the whale to the octopus. You've got so many arms. The whale sniffed sadly. I don't have any arms, she said. How I wish I were an octopus. But think of the problems I had, said the octopus. Sometimes my arms get tangled up. Have you ever tried to untangle eight arms? It's a nightmare, I assure you. <laughs> <clears throat> You've really got your hands full, agreed the whale. Good luck. And as the whale swam away, she thought, there must be some other creature I was meant to be. Crabs, snails, fish. Mm -hmm. The whale skimmed along just under the surface of the water. Above her head, she saw something that sparkled in the sunshine like a jewel. What is that beautiful thing, she wondered. She swam up to it. It was a jellyfish. Its colorful body glistened and twinkled in the sunlight. You are gorgeous, said the whale. I am nothing but a big gray blob. I wish I were a beautiful jellyfish like you. If you only knew how lonely I am, said the jelly in a tinkly voice. All the creatures are afraid of me. They think I will sting them. Everyone loves whales, but I don't have any friends. Aww. That is a problem, said the whale taking care not to get too close. Then she swam off, thinking to herself, poor little jellyfish, she's worse off than I am. Soon the whale came up upon a boat, and on deck a boy was fishing. Oh, how I wish I were a boy, said the whale, as she watched the boy reel in a fish. Just then, a great big wind whipped up, causing the waves to rise higher and higher. Then, swoosh, a very strong wave crashed against the boy's boat. <clears throat> the boy fell over and disappeared into the dark, tumultuous water. Oh, no. In a flash, the little gray whale dove through the waves. She knew she had to rescue the little boy, but what would she reach him in time? Oh, no. The whale came up for air with the boy clinging to her back. <clears throat> he was saved. Hold on tight, the whale shouted to the boy as she sped through the water and she leaped through the air. I'm flying, the boy cried happily. Uh, 
If you think that's good, watch this, said the whale. She danced across the water on her tail. The little boy laughed with delight. Aw, oh, that looks fun. The boy said goodbye, and the little gray whale proudly spouted water out of her blowhole. Goodbye. Oh, she saved his life, right? You know, she thought, being a whale is not so bad after all, if I do say so myself. Aw, she realized being a whale is very fun. Thank you for sharing this book with me today. Come back again for more stories with Grandpa Bill. Goodbye.